What's going on guys, NV Astra here, back with another video. So like I told you guys before, I was going to be pretty much reviewing and um, spitting out my thoughts about these um, new 5152s. Well, not too new at this time anymore because I've actually wanted to give it a few weeks before I actually gave you guys my thoughts and my overall review about this prop. So before we get started with the 5152, let's go ahead and um, tell you guys what I come from. So this here, if you guys don't know, this is the 5040 racecraft prop uh i flew this prop for about six to seven months before i um i swapped over to the 5152 so my overall feel with this prop was pretty much the low end was very very responsive uh it being such a light prop i believe it, they weigh in like at 3.5 grams not sure i'll i'll look it up for you guys and put it somewhere on the screen uh these props are very very light and with the motor like the f40 pros it being so powerful it would give you a very nice responsive feel um, and high torque with these props. Uh, one thing I, I would have to say about these props that I didn't like and what made me switch to the 5152 was the uh, the topping with these. The topping control uh, was a little bit slacking. I mean, if you were about 70% throttle, it would uh, kind of start flaring out of turns and wouldn't grip the air that well like the 5152 does. Another thing that it did about at 70% throttle was um, it stopped giving you that top end thrust that I would like from a prop, but um, Overall, this prop pretty much served me well for for the time that I flew it. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I won some competitions with it, felt very comfortable with it, very smooth. Um, Durability-wise, it was pretty pretty nice because um, because if you did uh, bend these things, since it's so thin and so um, it's such a not an aggressive pitch, if you did bend it, bend it back you're most likely able to fly again but um overall i would probably rate this like about an 8 out of 10 prop it is it was very nice prop so hope you guys um maybe um check these uh props out and now for the 5152s well like i said before the uh thing the main thing that made me want to switch over to these props was um the ability that i had to control uh my quad at high end uh throttle uh, and that's one thing that i I said lacked on the 5040s. Um, these props did very well after you got above 70% on the turns, on straightaways, on slaloms. They handled just great, and they still do. I mean, this prop is freaking awesome, and that's one one reason why I have so many sets about of them now. I have about 50 sets of these props. As soon as I flew these props, I, I told my friends, I'm like, hey guys, you gotta try these props. They, they want to go ahead and uh, bought some, and they fell in love as well. Um, this prop is freaking amazing. If you guys have not tried this prop out, go ahead and uh, give it a try. I'll link it down in the description below where you guys uh, can pick some up. It is a little bit on the uh, expensive side at four bucks, meaning about a dollar a prop, but they seem to be pretty durable. Not the most durable prop out there, because uh, if if anything, one complaint I would have to say to Gemfan if they plan on making another prop is to work on their durability, uh, since they do claim high durability on their packaging for this prop and that's uh because right at the hub this these tend to um bend right at the hub it is easy to bend them back and pretty much get the same flying characteristics but whenever you're about five six bends on the uh, on the hub and these props pretty much you have to swap them out because um it tends to stress stress that area right at the hub so um i did have a few a few cases where I was flying mid-flight, the prop just exploded and um, of course I uh, fell out of the sky because of that and they would explode right at the prop so um, and besides the fact that they're clear you really cannot see that stress point so that's one thing if anything I would have to um, complain about this prop but um, the over overall feeling about this prop is that you have full resolution and control throughout the whole throttle zero to a hundred percent uh i know there's some props that you really cannot fly slow like the 51 52 i'm sorry like the 50 51s from racecraft those i found myself that i couldn't really fly too slow with them because i mean they were designed to fly at high speeds but with this prop i pretty much felt that i could uh fly um a nice tight track with these as well as um, a big open track with these props and um and one thing that I was really skeptical about before I uh, actually began to fly these props was um, the, the not the durability, but the efficiency. Coming from the 50, 51 and it being so, um, so close to the pitch, uh, like the Gen Fan has a 52 size pitch and the 5051 has a 51 pitch. I don't know if that's a true pitch, but that's what they claim. 
And uh, I know the 5051s were not efficient for me at all. That's one thing I really didn't like about them. And the co controllability I had down at the low end of the throttle. And um, that's one thing that surprised me about these props. Yet they allow you to have such high speeds like the 5051s. Yet they give you such great efficiency. And I think one big thing to do. I don't know if you guys can see the tips on these um, on these props. But they're actually downward. Therefore the vertex the vortex from the um, from the dirty air it actually goes down and away from your the the, uh, the thrust that is uh, pushing out and I think that's one thing that plays a huge role in the efficiency for this prop and actually I mean it's such a heavy prop too I believe it's like at 4.9 almost 5 grams or it may be at 5 grams I'll pull pull up some information here on the screen for you guys um, I believe um, since it's such a heavy prop it should be um, a little bit less efficient but surprisingly I'm getting about two and a half minutes and if I'm like going about 60 to 70 percent around a truck I'll easily get three minutes with these props and uh, with a motor like the F40 Pros and it being so powerful it, it this prop is like is a great combination for that motor and it spins it up great that's one thing about um, prop combinations with motors that's where a lot of people kind of make a mistake where um, they, they over prop their motors and um, such as um, say for example like a pretty weak motor like um, say an old school red bottom and then you try to put a uh, 5051 on it I mean the old school red bottoms don't really have the torque and power to spin these props so uh, therefore you will think that the that the uh, prop actually sucks but it really doesn't because that's exactly what I thought whenever I used to run the old 2206 Lumineer motors I used to hate this prop that's the f oh, whenever these this prop was uh, actually getting hyped up and that's whenever I tried it and I just thought the prop was horrible but then I decided to give the prop another try with the uh, F40 Pros and this prop had amazing top end very very nice but the 51, 52 is just an overall better prop and, and it, it pretty much feels like a combination of um, both the 5040 and the 51 um, regards to um, the smoothness, the responsiveness from the 5040 and the uh, top end speed from the uh, 50, 51's so um, overall this prop is great and with that I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review and pretty much my overall thoughts about this prop and uh, if you guys have not checked these uh, props out I guarantee you if you guys try these props out you'll probably fall in love with them just like I did so uh, with that see you guys on the next video don't forget to comment like and don't forget to subscribe peace out